Hey guys, Robert with 3D Printscape. So last week I went over uh, this dryer box, kind of went over the unboxing and some of the basic functionality and stuff and mentioned that I was gonna do a test to see how it actually worked. Uh, so what I ended up doing was I left this filament right here outside for about four days. Uh, it was a little bit rainy, so I know that the humidity was kind of high. So as expected, um, the, there was quite a bit of moisture in the filament itself. So I took that, I did a test print uh, without actually uh, putting it in the dryer box. Then I put it in the dryer box for the four hours. I did another test print and then I did that two more times. Uh, so a total of four different test prints. And I wanted to show you the, uh, what the outcome ended up being, show you the difference between them. Um, I will say that the first to second one is substantial and then it kind of got a little bit less of a difference from there. The third and fourth, uh, well, I'll show you as we go throughout the video. If you'd like to see any of the videos uh, related to the dryer box or anything in general, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks. So with the first test, just using the filament uh, straight from outside uh, without drying it, I did um, multiple tests and the results were pretty much all like this. Uh, I did use multiple printers as well just to make sure it wasn't a calibration issue with the printer or anything. Uh, and it definitely wasn't the printer, uh, it was the filament. Uh, I know leaving it outside is a bit extreme. Uh, I was doing that to kind of make it get moisture quicker, uh, kind of like leaving it outside in a lower humidity area for a longer period of time, uh, but just trying to get a good test criteria or good a test baseline. Uh, so yeah, the first test, uh, it wouldn't maintain adhesion. The first layer was questionable and then it just got knocked off from there. Uh, so it was basically unusable filament at that point. And this is Hatchbox filament, so it is pretty good filament in general. All right, for the second test here, I'm gonna zoom in on it a second. Uh, you can see I was able to successfully finish the print. Uh, there are a couple things like little blobbing and stuff around, a lot of stringing, um, but it actually worked. Uh, so putting it in the dryer box for four hours took it from unusable to actually a okay-ish print quality, uh, which I was kind of surprised. Um, and that was following the settings that they recommended. So that was four hours at 50 degrees Celsius. All right, so I zoomed in on this as much as my camera would allow. Uh, let me bring it a little bit closer. Uh, you can see um, there's a quite a bit of stringing here in the middle. Uh, on the outside, there are some blobs, uh, especially on uh, this side. That's kind of hard to get picked up in the camera. Um, there's extra blobbing here where it kind of just uh, squeezed it out a little bit, I guess, from a bubble. In the front here, the bridging uh, was pretty bad. Um, so it's got some filament hanging down there and then just extra crap laying all around. I mean, the bottom was okay as well. Uh, not great, but okay. I mean, it's a functional print. Uh, definitely better than uh, what this was before I went in the dryer, uh, but I felt it still needed some room for improvement. So that's where we go into the next one. All right, so this is after another four hours in the dryer box. A lot of the issues uh, ended up getting resolved, so there's no extra filament here. Uh, the bridging is a little bit better. Uh, it's pretty much mostly straight. There's a tad bit of filament hanging down. Uh, the stringing is mostly gone. Uh, the bottom looks a little bit better. Uh, it's pretty clean overall. And there is a tad bit of bubbling through here, but nowhere near as bad. I know it's kind of difficult to see with the camera, um, but it's definitely a step up. Uh, so that was after eight hours in the dryer box and a print in between, I guess. And then the last print here, uh, I would say is it's a tad step up from the previous one. Um, all the issues I mentioned were pretty much resolved except for a tad bit of, um, bridging here which just might be the printer and the speed settings uh, the bubbling that i had across here on the other two are, is pretty much entirely gone there was no str stringing at all really uh, the bottom looks good so after about 12 hours total i got the best results i'm sure you can put it back in there for another four hours i just don't know how much better you're going to get from this i think this is functional so if you just need to have a part that functions this will work uh, this improved the quality to a usable state and i think this and this might be like the best setting as far as like time 
for uh, quality improvement because you're at about eight hours here. And this is it's a decent jump up from the previous one, uh, but it's another four hours. So, I mean, it's, what are you looking for? I mean, so the 12 hour mark uh, pretty much brought this back from not even usable to uh, being able to get a nice quality print off of it. And then eight hours is pretty nice as well. Um, so yeah, overall, I would say having a dryer box, especially in a humid type environment, like I'm in South Carolina, so it can get kind of humid here. Um, it's definitely worthwhile, uh, especially if you leave filament out or if you have an adhesion and issues and don't store it in like a dry box or anything like that. All right guys, so hopefully you found that helpful. I thought it was kind of a fun experiment just to see what type of difference the moisture would actually make, uh, taking it from basically a completely unusable roll of filament uh, to still being able to produce good quality prints uh, was actually pretty nice. So that, I mean, if you leave filament out all the time and not in uh, dry boxes or anything, a good dryer can definitely save you a lot of money in filament alone. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it overall. Um, but if you have any questions about what I covered here or would like to see any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.